So I added the rain sensing wipers and here's a little brief description of what I did. Only thing I got was the wiring harness that ran down from here up to the sensor. I got tapes there. You will need that. You will also need the actual rain sensor. And that's the one thing you really need. The dealership, they will want to get you a new wiper switch and a new steering column. The piece that holds the wiper switch, your turn signal and the clock spring. They'll want to replace that whole thing. But on this case here, I was able to program it with auto wipers. If all I needed was a wiring harness and the sensor. I did buy me the auto wiper switch. O only difference I see is this, it has an A there. I don't know if it's anything in the microchip or not, but I have just my standard wiper switch, the one without the auto wipers, and it works just fine for me. I got right now in the first position on up, which is auto, then you got the medium speed, then you got the high speed. Right now I got mine on auto, and you see, it's snowing over here. All right, so I got me a little bottle of Windex, just to show. If you spray the sensor. Now it starts to pick up speed. And you see it slowed it down. It should uh, put an intermittent here right now. And as the snow or rain picks up, it will change the speed again on the wipers. I will put the part number of the stuff that you need down in the description. Now, the thing you want to look for too, I got, they have different uh, letterings at the end of it. For example, 14B00-A, there's different numbers. So you'll need to see which one's yours. I got one with the auto dimming mirror, but apparently that one, the one I got is for the lane keeping assistant, so it had a different connector. So what I did is cut the harness off of it and just re and just wired it up to the back of my mirror here. Therefore it will dim. So like I said, only thing you need is the wiring harness and the sensor. That's the only thing you need to make this job get done. Now like I said, the dealership, they wanted to charge me for the steering column wiper switch, the harness, sensor. One thing I just now remembered on my car, since it did not have it, you will need to see if you have the rain sensing fuse. Let me open up my hood real quick. All right, I'm under the hood. You wanna go to battery junction box, or I call it a fuse box. You wanna go ahead and pop out this cover piece here. All it just has is three tabs. Just lift it up and pull straight on out. What you want to look for is a fuse right here. I believe that's fuse three. If you do not have it, you'll need a new fuse box. That's what I did. I got mine off of eBay, $40 just for a used one. But before you start buying into that stuff, what you want to do first, disconnect the battery. And what I did on mine, I took this cover piece off here. And you want to look for, I believe, uh, Pin 34, oh, I, I believe it's pin 39, and on mine it's a green wire which shows on my wiring book, it shows for the rear wiper, but apparently that runs to the wire here, it runs actually to the sensor, to the rain sensor. All right, so you want to make sure you actually had the wire for that before you start buying all this piece. That's what I did, I bought all stuff and realized I cannot do it yet because I did not have the fuse. For it. Mine had the mine has the cutout but no terminals that will hold a fuse for it to get power. So hopefully I answered most of you guys' question. If you have any others, 
feel free to comment in the message or you can always message me on Nick the Car Guy on Facebook. To find me, the profile picture will show Nick the Car Guy. So, thanks for watching.